it's yes. not it's not done. You, no, but I mean we're limited <coughs> now on our days of been chewed into. Well, this is why we've got meeting and we've got two more. That be able to maybe maybe we should extend it by a couple of weeks. Hi, my yes. name is Mary Sears. I'm the director of Concerned Citizens up the Upper Peninsula. A lot of you may know me already. I do want to tell you what a land use plan really is. It's the base for for countywide zoning. This is our land use plan that we have here has been put together by Whoopeter, who also did Keweenaw's land use plan. So let's take a look at it, shall we? This is our master plan. Keweenaw has a jump on us. This is their master plan. Remember, there's not as many people up there as we have down here, but their master plan is bigger. Well, that's because they've been at this long. This is the little piece of paper that helps you with their zoning laws because in order to implement a plan, you have to have zoning in effect or else you cannot implement this plan. This little index card is a 10-page index card that goes along with the zones that they have. This booklet is the zones that usurps the rights of our townships. This puts county governance above township governance. This is where we're headed with this. Please stop this now. Thanks for the a little bit of warning that we have because we are doing a signature drive and we ask everybody to sign this. We don't need any big, we don't need big government, we need small government. Do not take away the rights of our townships. Our townships have the right to direct the manner in which they are. Already we have the, the corridor that goes through 41 that they're trying to make it so that you can't control your own land up there. They'll take your land rights and they'll zone you to death. My group will have other... I would... Well said. Thank you. No. I would, uh, I would uh, as, a, as a member of the Planning Commission, I would agree that I think that with regards to, um, with regards to uh, zoning, that that's a topic that needs to be taken up if in fact there is going to be zoning or not the zoning at the township or city or village level. Um, I think several times over the course, I've been on the Planning Commission since its inception, um, and there had been some talk here and there about uh, a county zoning, um, and always was, um, always was a, 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 not even voted down, but there was never a support for county zoning, ever. Um, and, and I think that that comes from the very beginning of this, uh, the very beginning of this meeting. My interest with regard to with uh, land use uh, planning commission was um, to make sure that as people were uh, planning on building, uh, um, you know, areas for uh, uh, development or what have you, that they weren't doing it over a mine stope or, or or adjacent to a known floodplain, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but uh, this group has worked long and hard on this plan. I, it, it's it's not. Uh, it's not a, a predecessor in our case to a county zoning plan and in fact I think and I, and I could be mistaken but I think there's only a couple counties for me one county is the only, is the only in county the in the state, state of Michigan that has that has a county zoning and our commissioners have never been uh, a, a for county zoning this group has never um, gone to the commission asking that this plan use be used for a county zoning of plan. I can uh, just add to that this is strictly factual. Houghton County's board has gone on record as saying they oppose countywide zoning and they will not do countywide zoning. You cannot plan without zoning. You cannot plan it. How can you plan how can you plan somebody else's property? How can you do that? I'll be happy to answer that. As you remember what I stated in the beginning the purpose of the master plan following Michigan's Planning and Enabling Act is to set out general guidelines which may, that's permissive, may but not necessarily have to be used by smaller subdivisions who might want to do zoning. The point of a general guideline, general guideline, it has no force in law, it has no ordinances behind it. It is a general guideline prepared by volunteer citizens 